good morning students today i'm going to discuss about what is clubbing causes of clubbing and mainly how to check for clubbing so what is clubbing is it is usually bulbous syndrome for example if you see here uh, this is the angle between the nail and nail bed so clubbing is nothing but bulbous enlargement of soft tissue so you can what i touch is that soft tissue of phalanges so clubbing is bulbous terminal is the terminal part so clubbing is bulbous enlargement of terminal part of the phalanges or terminal phalanges like that also we can say the cause for clubbing if they ask means it is usually due to dilated av anastomosis arteriovenous anastomosis dilation because of the dilation of the blood vessels there will be enlargement of soft tissue of the phalanges so that is called clubbing one more definition is obliteration of the angle between nail and nail bed so that can also be called as clubbing now i will just to show you the demo how to test for clubbing the examiner will stand by the side so i am now going to check whether he is having clubbing of the fingers uh, the angle between the nail and the nail bed and it is not seem to be blurred which i will demonstrate don't worry so this is the angle and i can see from the sides and i am able to see that convexity this is seeing for any clubbing from the sides you can see i am seeing from the sides whether there is any obliteration of the angle between the nail and nail bed and for him it seems to be okay but anyway now what i am going to do is fluctuation test fluctuation test and you have to do it correctly so i'll just showing to show how to do first to see here i am keeping my both thumbs in this distal part of the nail bed and this is the one kept which i am going to check whether there is any enlargement soft tissue enlargement and this so the two thumbs is fixed in the distal part the two index fingers where i am going to use for touching and feeling and this middle one middle finger both i am keeping it in middle phalanx so just concentrate here see my fingers two thumbs in the distal part two index finger where i am going to do the test and this is for support the two middle fingers are kept over the middle phalanx now see the procedure what i am doing yeah i am just see here this index finger i am just pressing in case if the patient, if the subject is having clubbing yeah uh, see here the circle which i am making there will be soft tissue enlargement so what will happen when i do like this when i plus when i press the that that enlarged soft tissue will push my finger but here it is not fluctuating that is called a fluctuation test i am checking whether fluctuation is there or not for example yeah now see here this i am going to use so this will be passive this will be just like this yeah see here i am pluck, i am i am pressing the soft tissue in case if there is any enlargement the circle is here if there is any enlargement this will be moving like this if clubbing is there the finger if i flex here yeah if clubbing is there if i press here this will be little bit moving if i press here this will be little bit moving this is called fluctuation test so for him fluctuation test no clubbing yeah now the main important thing and interesting thing which you can easily do shamrat test or shamrat sign ipdi veinga yeah correct ipdi touch pananu ah correct thanks see here you can clearly see a window so this is called a shamrath window or diamond shaped window the test is shamrath test so what i am showing is there is a gap you can clearly see see here yeah i am able to see that gap since it is like a light passing through we call that as window so shamrath window or diamond shaped window so for him there is no clubbing in case if clubbing is there what will happen this gap will disappear because this side also soft tissue enlargement will be there this side also soft tissue enlargement will be there. so what will happen both soft tissues will be joining together though both the bulbous enlargement will be touching each other and there will be no gap but here able to see the gap another important point note it down the normal angle the normal angle between the nail and nail bed is less than 180 degree so normally you can see here see here this one yeah for example i yeah, am just see here it is going and coming down convexity so the nail and nail bed there is a angle but in case of clubbing what will happen yeah so this angle is greater than 180 degree in case of clubbing less than 180 degree normal so i am showing the difference between normal finger with no clubbing and the clubbing finger with the clubbing so fluctuation test i did checking the angle between the nail and nail bed then shamrath very very important and please note it down this angle which i am checking between the nail and the nail bed 
is called Lovi bond angle. L O V I B O N D. Lovi bond angle. So they can ask what is Lovi bond angle means? The angle between the nail and nail bed, which is usually less than 180 degree. In clubbing, it will be more. Because of, just imagine what happens. Yeah, this is normal, but I am increasing the soft tissue. So all these are soft tissue. So see here. So this is soft tissue. So the angle is increased. Very simple. Now coming to causes of clubbing, there is a mnemonic. C L U B B I N G. So clubbing, you write it like this. C L U B B I N G. For C, cyanotic congenital heart disease, cirrhosis. For L, lung cancer. For U, ulcerative colitis. For B, bronchogenic carcinoma. For B, bronchiectasis. For I, infective endocarditis for an neoplastic tumor yeah, for example lung carcinoma can be there for g gastric like ulcerative colitis but i wrote okay another way of causes of clubbing is divide it cvs cause rs cause gat cause so this is also important cvs cause cyanotic congenital heart disease infective endocarditis for respiratory disease, system causes bronchiectasis, bronchogenic carcinoma, emphysema, lung abscess. For GIT, ulcerative colitis, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, and cirrhosis. And this C I already mentioned there, this B I mentioned, U I mentioned, I I mentioned, this I I mentioned, this C I mentioned. So you can tell it in clubbing causes or system is very easy. C V S causes of clubbing, R S causes of clubbing, G I T causes of clubbing. So this L I can even mention lung abscess because lung cancer I am mentioning in neoplastic. So in today's video. We saw about what is clubbing, how to check clubbing, fluctuation test, obliteration of the angle between the nail and nail bed, shamrat sign. So you can see my fingers. So I am you are able to see the gap. So I am not having clubbing. Finally, grades of clubbing. So there are totally four grades. Grade one, two, three, four. So grade one of the clubbing is fluctuation test positive or you can tell otherwise grade 1 clubbing means fluctuation test is positive or there is bulbous enlargement of soft tissue that is grade 1. Grade 2 is next level apart from bulbous enlargement the angle which I told 180 degree will be more so obliteration of angle between nail and nail bed or otherwise in grade 2 shamrath the diamond shaped gap will be present. So, Samrat sign is seen. So, in grade 1, fluctuation test is positive or soft tissue enlargement is there. In grade 2, soft tissue enlargement will be there. Apart from that, the angle between the nail and nail bed is obliterated. That is Samrat test when you check. So, this soft tissue is more, this soft tissue is more. The gap will not be there. So, that is Samrat test. Grade 3, still there is more soft tissue. And what happens? There will be parrot beak appearance. You can see in the diagram, there will be parrot beak appearance or drumstick appearance of the nail bed. Grade 4 is the last stage of clubbing which is the advanced stage of clubbing. Grade 4 clubbing is hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy. This is grade 4 which is advanced stage of clubbing. So note it down there are 4 gradings of clubbing. So in today's video I discussed about what is clubbing, causes of clubbing, the various system CVS, RS, JT causes of clubbing, mnemonic. C L U B B I N G and how to test clubbing with the subject. So with this I will complete today's video. In next video we will be discussing about how to measure JVP which is another very important practicals. Thank you.